Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about very uh, interesting point, quite interesting point here about the AWS Cloud. Uh, in this lab, we learn a lot of things. So the first thing we will get uh, the real idea about real environment work, how to install the Cisco router inside the AWS Cloud. This is the first thing here in this lab. I will show you how to install the Cisco uh, router inside the AWS Cloud. The second thing from the basic and important lab in front of you here, we will install number two, we will install the instance and we will try to uh, provide internet for this instance through the router. So it means the uh, the user here or the instance here they can access to the internet through the router here through the cisco router because the normal uh, traffic or the easy way to get this guy access to the internet of course through the cloud through something they call uh, internet gateway from the aws but this is not really what we're looking for because we install in this lab, we, we, we learn how to install the Cisco router here. So of course we need to reroute the traffic from the normal way to go to the internet to through the router into it. So this is really benefit for the, the, the Cisco router here, how to install it in the AWS. Uh, it's not only this, however, we can also consider the same setting what I'm doing here in the small lab here. You can consider exactly replacement the router with a firewall, FTD or whatever with the firewall. Of course, in the firewall, when you put it your firewall inside the cloud, you need all your instance, you need all your server uh, go into it through the firewall. So that's why you need to know what the steps to do that, what the concept, what the point important for you to do that. So this is the lab. Uh, this is all about for this lab right here. All right. So what I need to do, let me give you some very quick overview about the lab. First of all, we create the VPC and this VPC will be carry CIDR 1010.0.0 slash 16. Then we will do two subnets, subnet one, or I call it maybe net net one, net two, subnet two. Okay. So this first subnet here will uh, will uh, use it the subnetting 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24, as you can see here. And the second subnet will use 10.10.20.0 10 slash 24. Uh, I will put this instance in the second subnet and I will put the router here in the 10.10.10.0 10 .10 uh, slash 24 in the subnet. Then I will give him or I will give this interface 10.10.10.200. .10 .10 All right. After that, I will create another interface they call uh, ENI. -N -E I will show you as well how can to deal with this interface and uh, this uh, type to create interface and reroute the routing through this interface is also important here. So ENI, I will show you how can to create the ENI and I will put it ENI uh, IP address, which is 10.10.20.100, which is will be represent the gateway for this instance. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, the subnetting here, v v VPC and two subnet and two instance, one computer and one router. Then I will do the two route table. This is they call route table here, route table here. So I will say uh, the route table here, you can call this route table is a default route table or route table number one or whatever. So I will say in that route table, uh, anything come from, I mean, as a source from router here, sh need to go to the internet for zero, zero dot zero, quite zero, should be go through the internet gateway. I will create internet gateway in the AWS. 
This is the first, this is what they're saying here in the route table here. All right, the second route table here, which is important here, I will say any network under this route table, which is this subnet, 10.10.20.0 slash 24, uh, the route table saying anything need, anything need come from this subnet 10.10.20.0 should be go to this interface. Okay, you can see here to this interface. So I will reroute the traffic inside the cloud from the uh, uh, natively or originally from the cloud. I will reroute this one inside the cloud to my router. This is the real idea for this lab. All right, the last point here for this lab, I need to show you some important point here. This is the PC for test. Uh, I will put it the same subnet 10, 10, 10 dot whatever. So why I put it in this subnet? Because if this guy, they don't have internet, I cannot access to this guy because I need a public IP to go to this computer. That's why I need to make this guy pure. There is no public IP, just a private IP. So what I gonna do in this computer here, uh, because there is a ping between them uh, privately. So I jump in from this computer to that computer. Then I test the internet is work or no through the router. So that's why this computer here, it is just for test. This computer is just for test. So let's get started and jumping to the AWS and start to configure this lab. Uh, this is my account here. We can choose any region here. So as you can see, I can go to the VPC. First, the network portion, you have to get it done. So we go to the VPC and as you can see, I don't have any VPC here. Your VPC, I don't have any VPC. So we can start from scratch here together. So create VPC, I will call it VPC01. And the CIDR will be 10.10.0.0 slash 16. And I will say create. and the VPC will be ready here. So once the VPC is available and ready, I can go to the subnet. I create two subnet net. All right, this subnet will be for router and make sure all the interface in the same availability region because if you put it in the different availability zone, uh, the router uh, two subnet in different availability zone for router will be not gonna work actually. So you, you have to make sure certainly two uh, subnets should be under one availability zone here. So I will select this one or by default will be uh, this. So the subnet here 10.10.10.0 slash 24. All right, this is the first subnet. So jumping to create another subnet very quick here. So I create another one which is they call net 02 and dash. This one LAN will be for the user for the computer. So also in the same VPC, and this one will be 10.10.20.0 slash 24 for the computer. All right, so the two VPC is ready. Uh, I have a one point here, one extra dot here. All right, so create, this is now two subnet, as you can see here, it created one for router and one for LAN. Cool, now I will go to the, uh, route table later i need the internet gateway uh, i need the internet gateway here to show you something i will create internet i will put in the name igw or igt whatever okay then i have internet gateway right now and i will attach it this internet gateway to my vpc my single vpc here attach it Call now I go to the internet uh, route table right now here. As you can see, I have a one default route table. I create another route table here. I call this route table for LAN and under the same VPC here and create. All right, so the first route table here for LAN, uh, the first one here. The second one, which is the default one, you can see yes, which is the default is come up with a VPC. Whatever, whatever you create VPC, the route table will create automatically. So in that default route, I will go to the route here. I will show you what I do here. I will say edit. I will add the default route here, zero, zero, zero. 
and I will ask him to go to the internet. I say yes, internet gateway and IGT, which is I just say created. So save route here and close. So means anyone under this network, I will select the subnet, which subnet I need to use those internet. I say only 10.10.10.0, only this one. Is that facing the outside interface for the router? So I just save here. So as you can see, the route table is associated only with one subnet, which is 10.10.10. And this subnet, 10, 10, 20, I will put it to another routing here, another route table, which is they call LAN, okay? So I go to the LAN when I click, and I will go to the subnet associate, associate. Then I will select 10, 10, 20, which is for LAN, okay? Maybe you have some question here very quick. What is the default route for this guy, for the LAN? Later on, we will add, right now, I cannot add four zero and a pointing to the internet. This is what 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 this is not what we're looking for. We need to point this route to the router. Okay, so we will add the default route later on. So just leave it right now. All right. For instance, I will start to uh, install the test PC. Then after that test PC, I will install the user zero one, which is the computer we needed to access the internet through the router. Then after that, I will uninstall the CSR uh, router after that. Create another uh, Linux computer here. This one for test. This is for test. Uh, I will put it to the same router subnet. Again, this computer help us to jumping to the user in order to test. I need a public for this guy for sure. And yeah, and just create it. Yep just next I'll put them in the same security group which is they call uh, security group SG01 just now I created that guy then after that next and I'll put the same pair key then after that launch the instance all right so in currently I can create another one which is they call user test or the third computer user one as test so this guy should be in the subnet 2 LAN you can see this one in the LAN here I don't want it any public IP I will try to guide this guy or access this guy to the internet through the router uh, eventually all right so I just make sure everything is okay looks good then after that I add the storage and after that I add to the same security group security group is represented with the firewall in the cloud so yeah this is the security group here then I will use the same peer all right this is the time certainly to uninstall the Cisco router CSR cloud services so how to uninstall inside the the cloud aws so i just launch the instance here then after that i go to the aws marketplace here then i just write it down here csr which is a cloud services router and hit enter then there is a two free trial uh image as you can see here this is the first one and the second one i prefer the second one with the security package here so i will go for it here and this is actually they give me the price here because uh, uh, basically uh, Cisco AWS is charge you for the instance for the virtual resources and the Cisco as well charge you for the image itself. Uh, that's why you can see here there is a software price and EC2 price is based to the resources so i will go the first one here medium of course uh, just for the trial then after that i turn off i turn it off and i terminated actually the pc or the com the the instance because i don't want to charge for nothing because just like to show you here guys so the software here the charge is 50 something percent and as you can see the ec2 is per and total here per hour of course okay i will say okay i'm fine with the price here and by the way, if your credit card is not correctly or your payment method is not there, they not really allow you to 
uh, install the CSR router inside your AWS because you have to subscribe inside the Cisco system through the AWS when you do that. Anyway, once when your payment method is correct, we will go through without an issue. All right, so I check this because CSR need at least three, uh, 2.5 gig. This guy is four gig memory, so I will be fine with this. Of course, if you need more in enterprise, in reality, you can go with uh, those actually. All right, so I will just say with this, the medium one or the default one here, then general purpose. Then after that, I go for install details. Here. I'll put it this guy, as you can see where in the net zero one, which is the router here. Okay, of course I need a, a public IP. I will enable it here and I will go with one interface as you can see here. You can put it here, IP address if you want. Okay, and I can, put here I think 10.10.10.100 .10 I can put that guy based to the design here and after that I will go with the storage here I'm fine with the storage 8 gig is quite enough for me for router actually and here you can put a tag uh, I will put that guy name then I'll put this is Cisco services router here 1000k 1k then after that the security i keep with the security uh, existing which is group 01 or sg01 which is i created before then after that launch the new instance and uh, my peer i keep with my peer with the vpn here and i acknowledgement i need to use this peer security cool now uh, my router is going to uh, see the check it out they say i'm legitimate to use this image everything is okay then after that view an instance and install here all right so the cisco router is take around i guess less than two minutes then after that will be ready then i try to access to the csr router and after that i will show you a very very interesting thing because I can add network interface here. There is some option here because as you can see here, my Cisco router, it will be used one interface only right now. So I need to add another interface. Okay. So how can to add another interface? You have some option here in the instance, some option they call network interface. Network interfaces here, as you can see, this is a default coming with each instance you created here. Then as you can see here, where is my router here? My router here, it is, I guess my name will be show of here. So my router here, that guy, and uh, this, uh, my, no, this is not my router. My router is 10, 10, 10, So let me check another one. Yep, that guy. This is my router actually. As you can see, one network interface. So I need to add another interface. How can to add that one? Uh, let me show you the interesting thing. I will try to jumping and access to the router. Then after that, I will add the interface from this portal in front of you here and just uh, uh, will be come up inside the Cisco router without any reboot, without any restart. This is really interesting thing. Let's jump into the Cisco router and try to access the CLI and see what going on up there. All right, the Cisco router here is ready now to use it. As you can see here, the IP address 10.10.10.100, 10, 10, the private, and this is the public. Of course, I will use the public to access uh to access into it here the question uh, maybe you can see why i use 100 as a gateway even here in the picture uh, you can see i use 20.100 10.100 why i use one uh, of course you can use 254 by the way in the range i cannot use one two three four because and zero as well because this is is reserved for any subnet as you can uh, i think you know that the aws is reserved those type those range of ips uh number one for net, net routing router inside the uh, the vpc and number two for dns and the three reserve for uh, AWS purpose or something like that. Anyway, I will get that guy here, the public here, and I just copy and I go to the putty and I just put it the IP address and go to the SSH, go to authentication here, remove that tick, browse and go to the peer. If you remember, we use a peer, which is the VPN. 
I will go to my peer here. I have a one class actually to help you to understand how to access the EC2. I guess you guys, you know this. Then after that, I just say open. They asked me here for credential, the default credential for username. I mean, consider the username default for any instance is this EC2 dash user. So I just hit enter now. I'm in inside the Cisco router here. So let me uh, make it bigger a little bit. All right. I'm in the Cisco uh, router here. As you can see, let me just uh, show you something here show where we can see we are use the cisco uh, asr uh, csr router here with the ios xe and you can see uh, this is it is the image for v virtual xe virtual xe cisco router cool i changed the host name i just say csr 1000 or any name this is my router here let me check the interfaces show ip interface brief you can see i have this ip which is if you go back to the picture here which is that guy which is that guy here which is ready right now if i can draw something here all right so you can see i created now uh this guy here which is done right now that one is done now let's do another one here and by the way if you can see this is ip this is they call virtual port group this is related to the uh, this image has come up default with this image this is different story just don't confusion this is the second interface no i'm not creating the second interfaces yet the second interface should be coming as a gigabyte ethernet 2 all right so show ip interface brief again as you can see there is no any interfaces here okay i will create it here and i show you again the interesting thing because the interface will be come up here immediately once i finish the e and i uh, configuration how can do that in my instance here i just go where i just go to the network part here in ec2 they call network interfaces here as you can see i have a three because i have only three instance two computer and one router so i will add another interface create another interface you can put it wherever any description and subnet because i need this guy if i go back to our design here i need this guy or this interface to be range or part from this range which is 10 10 20 right so i will select this subnet as you can see i have two subnet of course i need it to be in the net 02 which is lan which is 10 10 dot 20 dot whatever all right so uh, i can put it custom ip as well so i just put it here the ip address will be 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot 100 and you have to put it the ip manually in cisco router i will show you that then after that they ask if you need to do elastic fabric adapter which is make a little bit fast as well for the traffic exchange so i just say no i don't want it this right now then I just put it the security group i keep stack with the security group zero one which is i created all right so uh, let's create that one uh, this interface and see what will happen so i create this interface they say yes this interface is good and the, and we can put it some tagging on it i can put a tag this is for for uh, LAN and I can put 10.10.20.100 I can put it the IP address on it as well all right it's just as a reference here you can see uh, as a reference this one here all right uh, all right this interface is doesn't work and never see it if you don't attach it this interface to some specific instance so I will select this guy which is I just created and I say attach, attach which one, where, in which instance, of course in my Cisco router here, all right, so I just attach it here and attach, then, all right, now loading, if I go to the CLI again for the Cisco router and say show IP interface, breathe, there is nothing here, if I wait a little bit time, like one minute around then we will see another interface is coming the address or title for this new interface they call gigabyte ethernet 2 supposedly then after that i can configure the ip on it show ip interface one more time perfect you can see that guys come up this is really really interesting thing because i don't need to reboot my router i don't need to shut down the router and turn it on again because this is really is a matter when you work in a big enterprise so you can add whatever any interface and the cisco image 
virtual image CSR router can detect it immediately. Perfect. Now, after that, let me configure this guy. I will say interface gigabyte Ethernet 2. Then I say, hey, this guy is IP address 10.10.20.100 and 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .255 Again, this guy will be the default gateway for those, default gateway for our user 0, which is should be used the internet through the Cisco uh, router. Perfect. Let's do the simple test and check it out. I will do ping from my router to the computer here. Can I access to the computer? First, I need to check the IP of computer here. Uh, very quick, I go to the instance and 10.20. I'm looking for 10.20, which is user one here. 10.20.139. All right, I will copy that guy. Copy. Uh, after putting the IP, don't forget to put it no shit down because the interface is not going to work because you see by default it has been strictly down. So I will put it no shit down up there. Then now I do ping to uh, ping to 10.10.20.139, I guess. So I say ent enter here. Perfect. I can access to the computer here. One more time. Perfect. All right, let's do a quick review what we did already. Then after that, we will jump into another session to continue this lab. So uh, we did here, we continue to create VPC. We create as well to subnet in the same availability zone. We do create a default route here. And as well, we create the ENA. We create the internet as well. We install the router as well. We install two computer here. Again, this computer for test, we will see in the next session. So we are ready to go to configure the Cisco router here. And we will configure the route table here pointing to this guy here for the user zero one. Okay.